Right, it's the second night of the 2007 Tempe Music Festival. I'm Thomas Bond here with the headliners of the show from Denver, Colorado, The Fray. Everybody take a second to introduce themselves. Tell us what you do in the band. Uh, my name is Joe. I play guitar and sing. You got to share the mics. We only got two of them here. My name is David, and I play guitar. I'm Ben, the drummer. I'm Isaac. I sing and play piano. Excellent. Tell me about coming to play the Tempe Music Festival and to close down an exciting night like this. What does that mean for a new band like you guys? Um, it's very fun. <laughs> and it's exciting. <laughs> and it's a lot of people. There are a lot of people. A lot more people than I thought there'd be. A lot be. of loud college students. Yeah, there is a lot of people out there, and a lot of them came to see you guys, so uh, no pressure. It. It's great. Now, I know you guys, uh, when you started out, you won uh, the best new band in Denver for Westward, and just a couple of years later now, you're headlining a festival like this. What does it feel like to go from, you know, hometown favorites to a uh, you know, major event headliner like that? Uh, I'm going to answer that one. Uh, it was crazy, man. We, we all just kind of wanted to quit our day jobs and get out of, get out of school and stuff, and... Uh, then uh, the thing kind of <laughs> just jumped out of our jumped out of our hands. So that's the word, yo. It's a good word. Nice. Yeah. Terrific, terrific. Now let's let's talk about the big hit, "Over My Head," "Cable Car." A lot of radio play. Such a successful song. What does it feel like to, you know, put out your first major label album, have it go platinum, and have a huge hit like that? It's got to be gratifying. Yeah, it's it's a big surprise because we never really thought that we'd be as big as we are. Just in the way that when we were recording, you know, like Cable Car, we just went into a studio in Boulder and just recorded for an afternoon, and the song came together relatively quick and easy, and it was just kind of done, and we didn't really think much of it. Um, and so it's, it's, it's definitely crazy for the song to be as, as big as it is and for the success to kind of grow a lot larger than we imagined. It's wild. And what does it feel like to think, oh, man, we did so well out of there, I'm sure. You know, are you feeling a little bit of, oh, this song was so big, you know, what are we going to do to come up with next to follow that up? Are you feeling a little bit of that pressure? Uh, yeah. I if mean, not, let me throw some on you there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I think I think the pressure is just the, the, the our own pressure that we put on ourselves just because we want to write a great second record and... You know, we don't want to. We don't want to do the whole slump thing. So we're, you know, we're writing this whole year. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I know you guys have put out a live, quote unquote, bootleg disc. Um, how's that working out for you? And how's the recording of uh, some new material going? The bootleg was fun because we uh, we enjoy playing live so much. It was nice to put out a live disc for fans to have, sure. even though it was, you know, not like this full double sided live disc it was just right. like a little taste and kind of have, have fans remember what they saw at some point in tour but uh the new stuff is it's in it's in the process it's it's a little slow going and we've got you know a fairly busy schedule and and a big summer tour coming so you know you're just getting between, the material together yeah, for it now in, in breaks and a little bit after the summer tour we'll hopefully get serious and, and write some a terrific, lot of music terrific so. well i know the song how to save a life has meant a lot to so many people and uh, tell us about, you know, I know you've gotten some stories from fans of how it's touched them. What does that mean to you as a songwriter when you hear that kind of thing? Well, it's funny because we started out, you know, just to write the songs that they connected with us and with our friends and with our family and stuff. And, and uh, it's crazy to see, like, people from, you know, all over the country and all over the world sort of responding to that. You just, you know, that's like the hope as an artist that they would connect. And it's, it's been huge. Excellent, excellent. Well, tell me about what else you've got planned for 2007. What's on? What's in the works for the band? Uh, we're doing one big final uh, U.S. tour in the summer. Um, going over to Europe quite a bit. Very nice. So, yeah, so it's pretty much just one big last summer tour here. And are you going to be starting to work on the new album following uh, the summer? Is that the plan? Yeah, we're going to go in this fall and start uh, hashing out some of the stuff and then... Uh, take the holidays off and then uh, go in probably start making it in 08 so that sounds terrific what have you got planned for the performance tonight can you tell us any surprises before you go on stage what do you got cooked up for the people it's a lot of rock and roll, rock and roll. <laughs> confetti cannons Lots of now I know the MySpace generation is uh, playing a big part in the success of bands these days I know you guys got your MySpace presence where can fans find out about John MySpace 
It's www. You forgot the HTTP. It's HTTP <laughs> colon oh, backslash yeah. backslash www. The fray myspace dot com fray my, uh, forward slash the fray forum. F O R U M. Just type in the fray, <laughs> or you can just Google search the fray myspace. It's a rip. A lot simpler. Hey, anything uh, you want to mention for the people? Anything you want to talk about that I haven't asked you about? <laughs> My favorite color is brown. <laughs> That's a perfect way to end the interview. 2007 Tempe Music Festival. I'm with the headliners, The Fray, ready to rock the house tonight. <laughs>